Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick. We are back with part two of the Chocolate Cafe. Uh, this episode is a little bit more interesting. There's a little bit more stuff that happens. Uh, we're starting out here with a polywag, and I thought more in this episode, uh, I would talk more about uh, the Pokemon I caught and uh, the, the trends I started to see and stuff like that. Um, when we had less people at the cafe, we tended to get more drowsies. When we saw more people come, uh, and obviously we're playing Pokemon, the more different Pokemon we tended to get, which tends to lead me to believe it's speculatory and it's been speculated by other people. This isn't like something I came up with my own, but I did have this tested, obviously, because I was there, uh, is that, um, is, is that the more people you have at a location, whether you're lured, whether or not, whatever, you tend to find rarer or better Pokemon. Now, the definition of better Pokemon changes from who you talk to. A drowsy, yeah, it could be a good Pokemon to someone. To me, it's annoying. It's it's on the level of Pidgey and Rattata and Caterpies and Weedles, except I have to have 50 candies to evolve a drowsy, so it's more annoying than those. Uh, but... Light right here, we've got the two lures out, uh, we got another polywag, but we got the two lures out, and which means we were kind of short on people at the cafe. Uh, when there's three lures, we tended to have more people at the cafe. I don't know, two, three lures tends to attract more people than two lures. For whatever reason, I don't have a reason, I'm not going to speculate the reason, but it just, that's how it worked. We were there for about, I was there with a friend for about three hours, and... There was one point where we went down to one lure, and it was really hard to get more people to come. Um, I didn't want to lure up the whole area. Like, I didn't want to spend three lures every 30 minutes to have it all lured up for everybody else. Like, so I was just putting down one of my lures. Uh, my friend is still pretty low level. I think, was he... He was, like, level eight or nine, so he didn't have any lure modules yet. And I didn't want to have him buy any, because, you know, if you end up not liking the game, uh, I don't want to be the reason you spent like 10 bucks on the game and then not want to play it anymore so he didn't have any lure modules which was fine but for a while there it was just one lure module which was mine and so we were just trying to chill and waiting and it took a little bit of time before we got anybody there to throw down a second lure module and here's what i was talking about in the last episode you can see my character is was off to the side one side and that's not where you were in the cafe it was just kind of glitched up now here is the rarest catch that i have caught in Pokemon Go, I found this Ammonite, and it was only on my screen and one other person's in the cafe, because the kid who saw it first freaked out, and he was yelling that, you know, there was an Ammonite there, and everybody's, like, looking at their phone trying to find it, and, no, like, everybody's calling this poor guy a liar, and then I'm like, oh, I have one, too, and it was just me and him. I don't know why it didn't pop up for everybody. There were a couple of different Pokemon that didn't pop up for everybody. There was one of the Poliwags. Uh, didn't pop up for my friend, because uh, he needed Poliwags, uh, because he hadn't caught a Poliwag yet, so he wanted it for his Pokédex, uh, but one of them didn't, the first one didn't pop up for him, and so, while lures tend to spawn Pokémon for everybody, here we go with that, with the glitch where it freezes, they need to fix that, I'd rather have them fix that before they fix the three-step glitch, there is speculation on the three-step glitch that they have turned it off on purpose, They've turned off the GPS navigation for the Pokemon on purpose to ease stress on their server, uh, which makes a lot of sense. Niantic hasn't given out any rhyme or reason why it's not working. They haven't addressed the issue, which tends to make you believe that it's not actually an issue. It's a, it's something that they caused on their own, so uh, or, or that they induced on their own. They 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 had it happen on purpose. I guess is what I'm trying to say. Um, I don't think I actually pulled up my Pokemon list there, uh, and showed you guys, but I think I did actually get that Pokemon. Um, but back to the three-step glitch. Uh, they have addressed the freezing Pokeball. Now, not much. Uh, it, I believe it's just server stress. Um, people are saying they want to wait until the game dies down a little bit and the hype is gone and there's less people playing. Uh, but that makes no sense. I assume they're trying to work on a good fixer and improve their servers. There's a couple of there's a couple of schools of thought that people have. Uh, one is that they just 
turn them off and they're going to let the server, they're just going to wait until less people are playing. Then they'll fix it, which just sounds stupid to me, in, in my opinion. Uh, my The opinion that I stick with is that they're working hard to get their servers up to par so that they can handle all the people. I would assume starting in America, then Europe. Uh, so anybody who lives in America like me, I would assume... I would assume it would get because I think, I think there are there are different sir. I don't think everybody is on like a combined server. I think there's an while you can still communicate with everybody, uh, like with trades when that becomes available. I think you are on server specific to your area, uh, such as you know games like on PC or Xbox. Like you know you so, you can select your region. Um, and it'll show your ping. I'm assuming they have servers throughout, and I believe it also has something to do with Google's navigation, so they're at the mercy of Google's navigation as well as their own servers, and while I think Google's fine, Google could have small, minor issues that could really affect Niantic's uh, ability to push the game, uh, but hopefully they'll get that three-step glitch fixed soon enough. There's a lot of speculatory stuff out there. I don't want to report on speculatory. I just feel like I'm clickbaiting people. And I just don't want to do that. I don't want to just talk about rumors all day and night on my channel. I'm like, like that's all people do. Like, I found a couple Pokemon Go. Like, I like to watch Pokemon Go videos. Just see what everybody else is catching. See, you know, if anybody's got any cool tips for me or anything like that. And there were a couple of channels that I liked. Not calling anybody out. Uh, but uh, now they just talk about speculatory news. And I'm like, I don't even want, like, I won't confirm news or nothing. Like, don't, don't get hopes up. We, like, speculatory news just sucks, because 90% of it is just fake, and people are just doing it to get views. Like, I just do this for fun, so I don't really care about my views, uh, and so that's why I don't really care about clickbaiting the hell out of my videos. But, I believe now, the person, the, the, the person that was there lure moduling with me um i actually stopped lure moduling sometime late into the afternoon when we were there because i was like i've been lure moduling a lot of the day so i just decided to stop and there were a couple of guys that kept them they kept them lured so but now we have two different ones because you can see the one that i can't access the guy who was lure moduling that one he he was doing the one that i'm closest to now but then his character glitched and walked over there so we had those lure modules over there, so it didn't. It, it it worked out fine, but that's also something they need to fix is the GPS. Because why does my character, if I'm sitting in a cafe, just start walking in a direction? Like literally, if you go and sit somewhere for a little bit of time, you'll see it. Your character will just start walking in different directions, like an idiot. And I don't I don't quite understand it. That's something I. I hope they fix it as well. I'm not too worried about the three-step glitch. While it's annoying, it's not game-breaking, and you can still tell what Pokemon are around you, even though they're not in order. You can still tell. Um, so that's not as game-breaking as the stupid, annoying uh, Pokeball freezing when you catch a Pokemon, and then you have to figure out and count how long before you have to close it and then reopen it in order to get your Pokemon that's that's more annoying than the three step glitch because I know with the three step glitch they can fix that uh, they can fix they can fix that at any time and it's really not broken right now it just doesn't you know it doesn't work correctly but it's not broken the freezing of the pokeball is broken so is the um, what was I gonna say so is some of the pokey stops if you've done a lot of pokey stops you'll pull up to a pokey stop or you'll walk up to it and you'll spin it and it just won't give you anything and then it'll say try again later so there's a there's a few pokey stops where you'll just show up there you'll go to get your pokey oh this is a nice taurus this is my best taurus right now uh, i think i even powered him up a little bit so i think he may be over a thousand now uh, but this was a 903 taurus which was pretty nice i'm not too worried i'm back to saving my stardust i wanted to get a 1300 pokemon I don't know why, but I wanted a 1300 CP Pokemon, but I'm back into the, I took a little break from the level grind, which was probably stupid, uh, because I, because it's pretty much all but 100% confirmed that 
the higher level you get, the higher Pokemon you're going to find. And I, I know for a fact, it is confirmed that the amount that you can power up a Pokemon increases as you level up. Uh, on top of that, um, it increases the Pokemon's combat power that you find. So that's that's nice. So I, I think the level grind is going to be a thing forever. You're going to have to continue to grind your levels for ever if you want to have the strongest Pokemon. Um, I will talk about one speculatory news that that seems to be not confirmed, but it seems to be a little bit more like a believable news is that uh, they're planning to release Pokemon every six months, uh, new generations. That would take us about four years to get current generation Pokemon, which is crazy if you think about that, but it makes sense. It keeps the game fresh. It'll keep the game fresh for six years. I'm not sure how many people... See, the thing with um, it being on mobile is that you're more apt to hold people because everybody always has their cell phone with them. I don't always have, like, my Nintendo 3DS with me, so I can't always be playing, uh, like, the new Pokemon game on 3DS. So, with this, you always have your phone, you're always going to be able to play it, and I, ju I just think it's got a really good shot of being a longevity uh, alternative to the Pokemon games that we know and love on the on the DS, 3DS, Game Boy, whatever. And whatever they come up out, out with after the 3DS. Uh, so I think it's got a longevity there, and obviously they can make this fun with Legendary Events. A lot of speculation going around about Legendary Events... A lot of it kind of sucks. Um, if they're going to be doing the team battles for legendary events, that's really going to be annoying because you're going to have to go to big cities for these legendary events in order to get the legendary Pokemon unless it's just like a thing where they add it to the game. Like there's like a, you know, like at the top of the screen, you know, where that Pokeball is now spinning, like right below that, like right at that and below your bars of service there would be like a button that you would click and you would it would take you into the legendary battle and you could help compete if that's the case team mystic is going to win every time because i think it's probably something like 40% 40 probably 45 40% mystic and then 30% of the other two uh is about probably there's about 10% more mystic you see a lot more mystic than you do uh valor instinct though in my town Valor seems to hold the gems. Instinct tends to... Like, if you go out during the day, Instinct has most of the gems. If you go out, like, right around once people are getting off of work, Mystic has all the gems. And then at night, if you go out, Instinct has... Right, right. I said Valor during the day, then Mystic, and then Instinct. It's kind of crazy. It's like the, the, the Instinct people all come out at night and take all the gems. Um... But relatively overall, like now we're three lured, as you can see, uh, we're back to having three lures. We got more people at the cafe and we were three lured up, which is nice. Um, next time I go to the cafe, which is going to be next week, I am definitely going to lure up and incense and we're just going to really go crazy. Um, I don't know if I'm going with anybody. I may just be going by myself and hanging out at the cafe. Uh, I, I know one of the people that works at the cafe, so it's she can come out and talk to me if I get bored, um, because they're really not busy during the week, so I can, she can come out and talk to me if I, if I want to. I talk to people at work when they come in when it's not busy because, like, there's nothing to do. Like, if you're, if you're, like, uh, where I work, there's a Pokestop, like, right across the way, and my friend came, and he was just hitting up the Pokestop, lowering it up, and he was just hanging out there talking to me because I, it was like, I had to, like, 6 a.m. shift to it was short. It was like 6 a.m. to 9. So he just hung out there for a couple hours and talked to me because I had like five customers the whole entire time uh, because I wasn't even supposed to, <clears throat> excuse me, I wasn't even supposed to be working, um, but someone didn't show up. So they had to call me because I was the manager for the later in the day and they just said, take the shift and we'll, we'll cover your manager shift. So I was like, all right, that's fine. I'll, I'll do that, because I prefer to get off early, if that's, if at all possible, I prefer to get off earlier in the day, because then I can go enjoy the rest of my day, instead of having to go to work, uh, the later I have to go into work, the longer I sleep in, and then my day just gets cut even shorter, so, the earlier I'm forced to get up, the better, 
in my opinion. Uh, but let me get back to talking about the Pokemon. I kind of went off on a little bit of a tangent there, talking about random crap. Um, but at this location, we found... I'll go in order of the popularity of things that we found. We found Drowsies first. Then it was kind of a tie. See, it was Drowsies by a landslide. Like, I, I think I found like 50 or 60 Drowsies. It was unreal how many Drowsies that you found here. And speaking of Drowsies, there's another Drowsy. Um, but then it was kind of a close tie between Horsies... Uh, you tended to find a lot of Drowsies, and then you found a few other Pokemon. I think probably Gastlys were next, I think. Gastlys were next. Uh, let me look through my Pokemon on my phone and see. Uh, it'll refresh my memory a little bit here. But it was Gastlys. Uh, Zubats were pretty pop or popular there. Parises were decently popular there. Um, Poliwags, I found a decent amount of Poliwags. I did find my first tentacles, which was pretty nice. I still need a ton of those to get a tentacruel. Uh, probably want to find a tentacruel, I guess, at this point. Um, seals. I did find a decent chunk of seals. Uh, shelters. There were a decent chunk of shelters. Uh, you did find some hypnos, and you found some crabbies. Uh, horsies. There was there wasn't a ton, but there was a there was a decent chunk of them there. Uh, Jinxes, there were a lot of Jinxes. There were a lot of low-level Jinxes, like 300 combat power and like 400 combat power Jinxes. Uh, there were a couple of Tauroses, a couple of Magic Carps. There were no Eevees, which really surprised me. That was like the craziest thing, is that there were no Eevees. There were a couple of Squirtles, um, uh, but the most popular thing was Drowsies. I'm, I'm thinking of the city... Uh, the downtown part of the city is a hypnos, or not a hypno, uh, a drowsy nest. Uh, they, someone needs to come up with a better all-inclusive map because right now the services that are provided, you know, like there's one for LA and I think there's one for New York. Uh, and then uh, there's one for Europe. But other than that, uh, the like worldwide one, those suck. Like, there's only one nest in Australia, I know. There's only, like, one nest in Africa. There's one nest. It's not even out in Africa, but there's a nest. If you go look at one of the websites, the last time I looked, because I was trying to see if they had them in my... There's, like, one in Africa, but I don't even think the game is live in Africa yet. Um, there's, like, two in Canada or something like that. There's a bunch in the U.S., but they're all in, like, big cities, like Chicago or Indy or, you know, Dallas... Austin, I don't know, I'm not going to sit here and name off cities, but you know what I mean, they're all in big cities, which really sucks, because if you don't live in a big city, then good luck finding a nest. Uh, I think I may have found, as you'll see in tomorrow's video, I may have found a Vulpix nest in my local park. There's a lot of Vulpix there, which is great, because I want to get a Ninetales. I'm going to go back to the park here soon, hopefully it cools down outside, because it's a million degrees, and hopefully that is a Vulpix spawn or a Vulpix nest, and I can just drive around and walk around that park and just catch Vulpix after Vulpix. Now, that's not exactly how it worked. it worked for me. I was there for about an hour and a half, and I only caught two Vulpix. I saw three, but there were a bunch on the nearby list, and I was just driving around on the road in the park because it was like felt like 100 degrees outside. I think it was 88, felt like, like 97 or something like that. When I was done with the video, I looked at the degrees. Uh, was something like that, so I wasn't, like, walking around, so I couldn't go, like, out into the fields and out into the, um, like, into the soccer fields or the volleyball courts or anything like that. I couldn't go out there and look in any of those areas because I wasn't getting out of my car to walk in that excessive heat. Uh, so when I go back, I'm going to search around, you know, see if I can find more Vulpix, which would be awesome because you guys know... As you can see on the side of the screen, in all the episodes, I'm hunting for Vulpix, Ar uh, Growlithe, and Dratini's right now. All of which I don't have many of. I have the one, the one Growlithe, which is actually a pretty decent Growlithe at 469. Uh, I'm assuming by the time I get 50, I'll have a lot stronger Growlithe. I want to get like a, uh, one of my friends has a 1900 Growlithe, or not 1900 Arcanine. Uh, he found, he... He went on vacation, 
uh, and he found a spot where Growlis were just spawning like crazy, and he caught a ton. Um, I'm hoping trading becomes a thing here soon, because he's got some leftover Growlis. I don't know if he's traded them in yet. I haven't talked to him for a couple days. He said he was thinking about trading them in and getting another Arcanine, because he had a, I think he had a 700 Arcanine, or Growlis that he wanted to evolve. Um, but I don't know if he traded those in or not, uh, but he'd probably trade me one of his Arcanines, um, when the game... Uh, when, when, when the game allows trading. Also, there are region-specific Pokemon. We're here at the end. I'm doing all the evolutions um, of all the Pokemon that I caught, or some I just had enough candies left over. We're in the midst of the excessive evolution of Drowsies, getting all these 1,100-plus CP uh, Hypnos, which were actually are pretty good. They're what I'm leaving at gyms right now. Um... So they're working out well in that retrospect, but I'm I'm not really excited about Hypnos or Drowsies anymore, because I have a stupid amount. Really, I wanted a 1300 Combat Power Pokemon, mostly because I didn't want Hypnos as my top Pokemon. Uh, so I also leveled up a Pidgeot to 1170, just so I'd have, you know, a couple of Pokemon that aren't Hypnos near the top, uh, which was nice. Um... But finally, let me uh, just, I totally lost train of thought of what I was talking about, uh, but let me end this uh, by saying uh, that with these evolutions, um, I'm starting to save up again because level, level is the most important thing. Let's be honest, if you want good Pokemon... You better be prepared to level up like crazy because that's that's what it's taken. Um, I saw a screenshot. Someone hit level 34. I think that's the highest I've seen. Um, I didn't even know you could go that high. I thought maybe they... I'm guessing they cap it at level 100. That makes sense. Level 100 cap would make a lot of sense because that's the cap for Pokemon in the actual games. Uh, so that would be kind of cool. Get your trainer level to level 100. And who knows what kind of combat power Pokemon we're going to be allowed to get if you can go up to level 100. Um, I heard there was a cap of 30, but unless that guy photoshopped that picture that he posted on Twitter, then then you can go higher than 30. But I don't know. I don't have anything of this confirmed because I'm only level 21. I want to get. I'm going to get to level 22 today. I think I'm going to do some evolutions, and I think I should get to level 22. Um, I'm 30,000 experience off of, oh my gosh, this is, this, it's painful trying to level up once you get past 20, it's just crazy, it just is, it's just horrible to try to level up, but I'm back to that grind of let me evolve every Weedle into a Kakuna, and then trade the Kakuna in for more Weedle candies, and then evolve another Weedle into a Kakuna, it, it's not the most fun, maybe I'll do a video every week, or something like that, where I evolve some Pokemon for you guys, uh, just show you kind of what I'm evolving and whatnot. And here we go. I'm doing the EV uh, trick here to get a Vaporeon, and you can see it works again. I did have an issue the other night, and I was like, why? I wanted a, um, I wanted another Vaporeon. I want a really strong Vaporeon, uh, but I screwed it up. I, I spelled Rainer really quick, and I spelled it wrong, <laughs> and so I ended up with a Flareon, which is fine. It works out well, but see, Rainer turned into a Vaporeon. This has worked every time for me. People have said they debunked it, but it still works for me, so I don't Maybe it's not 100%, but maybe it helps. Um, it helps your odds of getting uh, one or the other, and I've just been lucky enough that when I do it, I haven't... I haven't been unlucky and had it, but here you go. Here are the Pokemon that I have currently, not currently, but when I recorded this. Uh, pretty much all my top Pokemon are Hypnos. We've got a couple of Tauruses and Jinx up there. We've got that Gloom. I can't wait to evolve that Gloom into a Vile Plume. It's going to be Beastly. I've got a Beastly Goldeen that I only need six more Goldeen candies to get a Sea King. And I think the Sea King may be 12 or 13 combat power when I'm able to evolve it. Um, I did get a really nice Venomoth, uh, I think he's like 800, that's actually not really nice, but I got an 800 Beedrill, which was pretty good, I haven't even seen that, I don't think I've seen a 1000 CP Beedrill yet, uh, I'd be awesome if someone could s show me that, um, still waiting on Raichu and Magikarp, 
uh, Gyarados candies, but there are the eggs. You'll see in tomorrow's video, we hatch every single one of these eggs. I think there's one 2K egg, KM egg we don't hatch, but other than that, you see, I think eight eggs hatched. I'm not going to promise anything. I think I hatch at least one, one 2KM, all the tens, and all those fives. Uh, but guys, that's going to do it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Drop the video like if you did, subscribe if you haven't, and check out tomorrow's video where I head out to the park. Um, and I will catch you all later. Peace out.